I'm just going to leave you tonight with, with, with what we're going to do next with, with, with the Life After Shock and Gospel Choir and our activist group. And like Sabatry, I'm just going to, I'm going to invite us all to find that bravery and courage and to find that thing that is wild enough. We have to create now. Because that is why that amazing enclosure that Tommy, Jeff, and Jimmy Mad invented is spiritual. It is the church. If you have, if you have these sentences, these words, keeping the fundamentalism out, keeping the militarism out, keeping the consumerism out, and we can stay in here and wait and be with each other, be with each other, and wait, pause, pray, sing, dance, be human beings. The adventures of that foundational document were saying, we will come up with what is necessary to have a civil society. It will happen. There. You just need the protection. It will happen there. That is our faith. And if people are together and protected from, from fundamentalism, we will make peace. We will make peace. We will make peace. We're in such a room right now. Feels good. I feel so good being here with you right now. Mm. <laughs> you just feel that <laughs> non-deity spiritual <laughs> inside the 45 words with you right now. Feels good. Yeah. Palpable. It's giving us a responsibility. Well, we, we, uh, you know, after we lost the election running for mayor last year, <laughs> we really discovered how hard it is to find a commons in our hometown. We, we really got the corruption and the airlessness of New York City corrupt politics in, in a very, a very acute way. And I, I think maybe we needed to do that. I have some regrets, but... It was, a, it was a teaching, it was a moment, a nine-month moment, woo! When we came out of that, we said, let's just, let's just wait. Let's wait inside that enclosure, together. Let's sing together, let's pray together. Let's have that non-deity <laughs> worship together. And it came, here's what came to us. I'll share it with you. What perfectly combines this, this false thing that's happened to us where we think that environmentalism and peace are two different issues? What combines the two? It's mountaintop removal. It's bombing. It's bombing for dirty coal, for CO2 emissions, and all those chemicals in the explosions hang in the air, and cancer to the children downstream, and so forth and so on. It's, it's war against the earth and against Who's the enemy this time? The world poor. Amen. Now, find the commons. We got back into that wonderful place protected by the 45 words. And we just waited. And we sang and we prayed. And we danced. We paused. We laughed. I love my community. The Life After Shopping group is just, that's how we can do this more than 10 years. Amen, Sautry? And then the comments came to us. At least it's where we're going to start. We realized that we are surrounded in New York City on virtually every corner in the East Village where we were rehearsed by J.P. Morgan Chase Branch Banks. And now this is a corporate space that in many cases has replaced the commons. Because oftentimes, little mom posters, independent shops, diners, uh, and, and, and so forth, places where we are safe to be with each other, be reckless, be funny, tell stories, slow down, bring our children. Common. 
these places. A healthy neighborhood's become radical somehow in our culture. How is that possible? Amen. But I digress. So we're going to get a, we're going to rent a box truck. We're going to go to West Virginia. We're going to go down into those streams that are choked with the silt and sludge. We're going to load up that box truck. We're going to drive back to New York City, and we're going to load that mountain, that murdered mountain, into those ATM branch banks. We're going to bring the mountain home. You remember Richard Dreyfus and Close Encounters of the Third Kind where he, he couldn't help but make those devil's monuments in his living room and he had trouble explaining it to his wife? <laughs> well, my wife knows all about what we're up to. Amen. Pray me. Hallelujah. She inspired us. That's just, just a, a start. I, I hope that we can share with you what happens as a result of taking the mountain to the bank <laughs> that is financing most of those most of those dirty coal enterprises? I hope that we all discover a place. sing and shout for peace. And we're, because we're just in that natural commons that our voice just goes out and out and out around the world. I ask this amazing thing that we have called life. Bless Lapoco, each and every one of us, taking our, our peace so seriously, so hilariously, so musically, this year, 45th year, life.